Hello and welcome back to an episode of Generation Films. My name is American Ben and today we're going to look at the seven craziest incidents to ever happen on the Shinkansen, the world famous Japanese bullet train and the rail system at the center of the popular new movie, Bullet Train. Just a warning, I do talk about some difficult subjects in this video, such as suicide, so please tune out if you're sensitive to that kind of thing. Anyway, thanks to its mountainous terrain, prior to World War II, the Japanese rail system was limited to narrow gauge lines, which took trains on winding, inefficient routes to their destinations and couldn't handle high speeds. The Shinkansen, meaning new trunk line or new main line, was thus conceived during the early parts of the war, with the aim being to connect Tokyo to other regions of the country. The project, which was the first dedicated high-speed rail system, was put on hold for the course of the war and the rest of the 1940s as Japan rebuilt its infrastructure and economy. However, by the 1950s, the Japanese rail system in place was being pushed to the limit of its capacities. The government thus returned their focus to the Shinkansen dream by the middle of the decade. The project was approved in late 1958, and construction on the Tokaido Shinkansen line, which would transport passengers between Tokyo and Osaka much quicker than the standard lines, began the following year. And the line finally went to service five years later, in the beginning of October 1964, just before the start of the Tokyo Olympics. Eventually, the train system expanded throughout the country and came to boast the highest annual ridership of any high-speed railway network in the entire world. Until, that is, the Chinese system surpassed it in 2011. Today, the Shinkansen network consists of eight main lines, along with a handful of supplementary and mini lines, together which run over 1,700 miles long and which allow trains to reach maximum speeds between 150 and 200 miles per hour. According to the Japanese government, the Shinkansen carried 436 million passengers in fiscal year 2018. As you may already know, the Shinkansen also has a world-renowned reputation for reliability, with the Central Japan Railway Company reporting that in 2016, the average delay of Shinkansen trains was only 24 seconds, which is better than Amtrak by about three days. Now, the reason I think it's interesting to discuss the craziest incidents that have happened on the Shinkansen is that, according once again to the Central Japan Railway Company, over the course of its 58 years in operation, the Shinkansen has carried billions of passengers from A to B without incurring a single fatality or injury due to collisions or derailments. However, that doesn't mean that nothing out of the ordinary has ever happened on the Shinkansen. Our first crazy incident is the Joetsu Shinkansen derailment. On October 23, 2004, an earthquake struck Niigata Prefecture, causing, among other damage, a Shinkansen train to derail, marking the first derailment of the Shinkansen in its entire history. However, according to a report by the East Japan Railway Company, not a single passenger among the 154 on board at the time was injured due to the derailment. Part of the reason the passengers stayed safe despite traveling at high speed was the Shinkansen's earthquake detection system, which enables size monitors controlled by the rail company to remotely trigger the emergency brakes on their trains when an earthquake hits. The derailed Shinkansen train went back into service 66 days later because that's what hockey players do. Following the derailment, Shinkansen trains were also outfitted with new anti-derailment technology. Another Shinkansen derailment occurred on March 2nd of 2013, when a train running on the Akita Shinkansen line was thrown from the tracks in the city of Daisen due to blizzard conditions. There were 130 passengers on board at the time, but once again, there were no injuries reported as the conductor had acted quickly to bring the train to a stop after he heard a loud noise. Our second incident unfortunately does involve a fatality, and warning, it's a bit gruesome. In December 1995, a 17-year-old student was attempting to board a Shinkansen train at Mishima Station in Mishima, Shizuoka, when, according to which source you draw from, the train door suddenly closed, catching either the boy's finger or coat, and dragged him 100 yards along the platform before he fell to the tracks and suffered a fatal head injury. The Central Japan Railway Company stated that this was the first fatal accident to occur on the Shinkansen since its operations commenced over 30 years earlier. As one source explains, the train model in question, the Zero series, did have a mechanism installed to detect objects in the doorway, but the victim's finger was too small in diameter for the technology to pick up, so the door closed on him and activated its airtight seal. Following a lawsuit, the Shizuoka District Court declared both the train operator and the victim to bear some fault for the accident, 
and awarded the victim's family over 48 million yen in damages, a total equal to about 350,000 USD today. Our third crazy incident or incidents are suicides. And if you're sensitive to this kind of talk, please do tune out now. Japan has long dealt with a problematic national suicide rate as it frequently rates at the top of the list for suicides among developed nations. While accidental deaths have been an exceptionally rare, near non-existent occurrence on the Shinkansen, suicides by bullet train are not quite as uncommon. Suicides by Shinkansen are not widely reported on, and so it takes some scouring the internet and delving into some poorly sourced anecdotes to glean the details of such happenings. Nonetheless, if you spend just a few minutes searching, you'll find many claims of such incidents taking place, and many more claims that suicides by Shinkansen occur all the time. One site claims that in July 2007, a man climbed over a fence and walked onto the tracks near a station in Saitama, and waited for an oncoming train to hit him. The same site claims that in April 2008, a man leapt from a train to his death in Shizuoka Prefecture, one of many incidents that led to rail companies modifying the handles on Shinkansen trains to make them harder to manipulate. And then one poster in a thread on Reddit claims that sometimes suicidal people will open doors of moving Shinkansen trains and throw themselves into the path of an oncoming one. I don't know if these particular anecdotes are true, but there must be some truth to the general claim that suicides by train are a more than infrequent occurrence in Japan. I found a New York Times article from the year 2000 which covers the subject of Japanese suicides by train. In the article, various credible sources, including witnesses and railway officials, spoke about the problem as if it were an epidemic. And most interestingly, the article notes that, quote, train companies charge the families of suicide victims for damages caused by the suicides. JR East is just one of several train and subway companies operating in the Tokyo area. But it is widely rumored that JR East became the most popular line for suicides because it charged the bereaved families the least, end quote. Our fourth incident is a bit lighter fare, though still a dangerous occurrence. According to the LA Times, in March 2003, a 33-year-old Shinkansen conductor fell asleep at the wheel, or whatever they used to drive trains, while the train in question was traveling at 170 miles per hour and carrying 800 passengers. However, the train's automatic operation system was engaged at the time, and thus the train safely pulled into its station en route to Tokyo on its own. The driver reportedly told officials that he had no memory of what happened. Also, though I can't access the full article to fully gauge the argument, the Japan Times explained that his spontaneous doze was the result of sleep apnea. Our fifth incident is snakes on a train. Yep, this isn't just a far-fetched movie happening. There have been multiple incidents involving snakes on the Shinkansen. According to an article on CNN.com, in September 2016, a passenger aboard a train en route from Tokyo to Hiroshima spotted a brown snake coiled around an armrest, and because she's bigoted, she did not assume the snake had simply purchased a ticket and was on his way to see relatives. According to railway officials, snakes are not allowed on Shinkansen trains, a clearly discriminatory regulation, and thus after the woman who spotted the snake alerted a conductor, the train made an unplanned stop at Hamamatsu City, where police boarded the train and arrested the woman. Kidding! They took the snake into custody, but it was released to wildlife officials after posting bond and proving that it wasn't venomous. In the same article, a spokesperson for Japan Rail Central also claims that a three-foot-long Honduran milk snake was discovered sitting on a seat aboard a bullet train in 2011. That time, the snake was someone's pet. Finally, though it's not sourced, factsanddetails.com, you gotta trust that name, alleges that one time a snake became entangled in a Shinkansen insulator, causing a power failure that halted Shinkansen service for over an hour. And now y'all know the real reason the Shinkansen has a 24 second average delay, snake hooligans. For our sixth incident, we return to the macabre, specifically a knife attack. According to the BBC website, in June 2018, a 22-year-old man aboard a Shinkansen train traveling from Tokyo to Osaka with 800 riders on board attacked and killed one passenger and injured two others using a knife. The attack caused mayhem to break out among the other passengers who fled the car in fear for their lives. The police boarded the train at the next stop in Odawara and arrested the assailant who was found to be carrying multiple bladed weapons on his person. He later claimed that he had picked his victims at random. According to a 2019 Reuters article, the man was eventually sentenced to life in prison for his crimes. Also according to the article, the incident ignited a nationwide debate 
on how to improve security on Shinkansen trains, a rail network known for both its exceptional safety record and its on-time record. The complexity of the debate thus lied in the challenge of balancing safety measures with efficiency. In response, one of the rail operators, Central Japan Railway, installed security guards on all of their Shinkansen trains. However, at least as of the writing of this article, baggage inspections have yet to be implemented due to concerns about slowing down the travel process and thus negatively impacting the on-time record of the Shinkansen. Finally, our seventh incident, and craziest one of all really, involves a self-immolation. On June 30th, 2015, a Shinkansen train was traveling at high speed on its way from Tokyo to Osaka with somewhere between 800 and 1,000 passengers on board. When the train was about 50 miles southwest of Tokyo, near Odawara City, the train came to a sudden halt after the emergency stop button was pressed. Inside the train, a disheveled and erratic man was sauntering up and down the aisles of the first carriage of the 16-car train, holding a petrol container and mumbling weird things to himself and the passengers. The New York Times reports he placed some 1,000 yen notes on a woman's tray table and then told her, I found some money, take it. However, things took a dark turn when he began to empty the petrol container onto the surrounding seats as well as onto himself. According to witnesses, he then pulled out a cigarette lighter and set himself ablaze. Along with the perpetrator, a woman in her 50s died as a result of the ensuing fire, most likely due to smoke inhalation, and 26 others aboard the train suffered injuries as well. Following the incident, all trains on the Tokyo-Osaka line were brought to a stop temporarily. The self-immolator was later identified by police as a resident of Tokyo who worked in building demolition. No suicide note was found, and his neighbors described him as a quiet loner. Anyway, those are the seven craziest incidents to ever take place on the Shinkansen. If you know of more, please let me know about them in the comments below. For now, please do give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe to this channel and hit that damn notification bell so you don't miss a damn thing. For now, my name is American Ben, and I'll catch you next time. Generation Films, peace.